My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, we're still in August. How are you? Doesn't feel like it. Been great weather so far. Uh, baseball's rolling, other sports are coming big time. Speaking of sports, first first uh, category. We're going to go categories today. Chapter. Lay it out for the people. That's your new ho- your new hobbit. We're going to do the sports. Then we're going to do almost a breakdown. Then we're going to do more sports. And then we're going to do not sports. After that, employee of the week. Jimmy, in the sports, we have a first catcher, Danny Jansen, set to play two games in a day. That normally happens. Well, it's actually one game with two teams. Mm. Rain, Zach. He was on the Blue Jays. The game started. He was playing. He was up to bat. I'm going to hit. The rain fell. Canceled the game. Postponed. Delayed. Put on ice. He gets traded to the Red Sox. Now the game starts again. He's up to bat for the Blue Jays. Wait, he's on the Red Sox. 0-1 count. Cora, Red Sox manager, did say he is going to play because it's history and you got to do it. Maybe you can even grab this tomorrow. It'll say Danny Jansen gets pinch hit for blank. Defensive substitution in at catcher Danny Jansen, which is bizarre to read. Yeah, the chorus stuff's pretty funny because he kind of pits it on the short people of baseball. He's like, yeah, I got texts from Stark and Olney asking me to do it, so yeah, I'm going to do it. Mm. Kind of been a nice Red Sox. It's over anyways. Media wins. Media wins. Backwards. I didn't see that coming. I did see this almost a breakdown coming, Jim. This is good times. You know, baseball in Oakland is coming to a close. Coliseum is going to shut its doors. This fan shows up, gets himself a nice view, fouled back, grabs it, makes a nice catch going to his right. They go to the bottom of the first. His team, the A's, is up. The A's. Another foul ball right to him. He goes to his left. And then later in the first inning, Anduha. Jack's one behind him, and this guy makes a great leaping grab on it. Three foul balls in one inning. Didn't run in front of another human to steal it. He had the openness because the Coliseum was empty. That's a hell of a time. He should leave. Rest of the game's going to stink compared to that. The first catch is like a B plus. You're like, hey, if you're dreaming of catching ball, brought his glove to a game. Team glove. I'm all in. Trevor Plouffe got me. Second one, okay. It's almost the standard. Nice and easy. Little to his left, but it's it's glove side he makes the play. The third one, he's peacocking. And there's an odd shot of the crowd. There's like three fans that you see that are, like, admiring him. They took pictures with him afterwards. And the last catch kind of was. <laughs> it was a sick grab. So uh, he's invited to the warehouse, unless you're really weird or a bad guy. Congrats to that fan. Gave a lot of them to kids. More sports? It's usually more sports at DraftKings. This show's brought to you by DraftKings. Thanks, DraftKings. Jim, it's fantasy football season. It's the season of the sticks. And I, we've got a couple good ones. Your Oakland Athletics, big Oakland A's pod. I guess they're wrapping up, so we might as well celebrate. Yep. They do some good guys being guys, warehouse type activities. They all set up up top. Ring on the field, throw it a ball closest to the ring, you get to pick, huh? Boring. The Snakes. Much better. Much better because they're a winning team. Yeah. Um, And they had their manager, Tori Lovello, hot. They had him take BP in whatever balls he hit the furthest. They got the top pick. And kind of famous fantasy football player, Jock Peterson, Tommy Pham. He got last pick from it. Yeah, Tori fouled that one back or popped it up, they said. I want to know if they knew... They knew which ball was being thrown at the time, or do they have to go out and then look and find them? Because I think you got to know whose ball is being thrown at the time. Oh, strongly disagree. You think you can find them? It has to be blind. Don't go to your next date blind. That's really fun. That's a, a good culture there they got going on over there. Oh, Zach, if people want us to choose the way yeah. their draft order, we're, we'll do it for them on next week's episode. They have to have their draft on a Wednesday night because the league starts Thursday, and Weekly Dumb comes out Tuesday. If they reach out to you properly, we will determine their draft order on Tuesday's Dumb. At Zach Esposito69, Twitter, X. 69420, at Zach Esposito. That's me on threads. Hmm? Zach's so spicy today. Not as spicy as this, not sports. You know, Mm -hmm. we got the drug cartel. They botched one. Yeah. You watch documentaries and they're like chock full of lawyers and like smart people. I was just watching Cowboy Cartel. It was wild. This is not their smartest effort. They tried to get $5 million worth of meth across the border. And a lot of times they hide it in food 
fruit that's been normal. So this time it said, let's not do real watermelon. Let's just make fake watermelon. And it's terrible. It looks like a uh, kindergarten paper mache and it's $5 million worth of meth. Someone wrapped this stuff up in plastic and like drew watermelons. It's plastic. You touch it and you're out. Right. So bad effort. I mean, how could you not put some real watermelons on top? Maybe they took that part out because that's a horrible plan. If you're going to do that much time on site. <laughs> They're fake. fake watermelons. They look like... As soon as the truck gets opened, you're caught. So why even put them in anything? They look like candy jar watermelons. I thought it looked like that real shitty packing tape, that brown, real thin mm. packing tape, and then they just colored it with green. But that's a lot of coloring, because there's a lot of a watermelon. A ton of coloring. Uh, it doesn't make sense. I don't think the cops should feel that proud. I think the cartel should feel dumb. It's a bad effort. Barely tried, you know? Hey, you want a noble adversary. Ah, uh, you found it. It's a rope -a dope oh, oh, there yeah, was you that. caught us. This was the distraction of the, the five 20 million, million shipment the other way. Come on. I almost was dumb there. Live a day in a shoes. Live a day in a shoes. It's an Italian phrase. Live a day in a shoes. It's the employee of the week. Soft music employee. It's the employee of the week. Is it really an employee or is it the employer? It's me, Zach. I get it. Wow. Wow. Me. Wonder why? Zach was there. You still haven't gotten one. Uh, employee of the month every single month. Zach was there. Uh, JM Gaming Sluggers Tournament. I eliminated Jake. Spoiler. Also called my shot on the double play. Zach was in the room. NG. Yeah. Double play yeah. threat. Watch this. Double play. The oh, smash to no. short. He got him. And he is out. The next day, he told me that was cool. It was cool. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta write the script. Like the uh, Florida... Little League team. Go me. That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by DraftKings. Whether you're cheering on your alma mater or just love the thrill of college football, you're going to want to listen to this right now. All new customers who bet just $5 on anything will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use promo code DUMB. Close mouth as loud as you can go. Mm -hmm. ah! Ah, he opened his mouth. Netherlands, country, ranking, one, two, one, two, or three. Uh, I think there are one. And you guys decide if that was the highest or lowest.